Hello and welcome to another video on essential formulas for the electrical level 3. So, gather our different colour pens and the topic for this video is capacitance. So let's write the heading capacitance. Now, there's quite a few bits of information we need to write down to do some really good uh, revision notes for capacitance along with our formula, but we'll start with the formula first. So let's get our red pen for formulas. And the first one is going to be XC equals, um, and that is one over two pi FC. And we can transpose that then give us C equals, and again that would be um, 1 over uh, 2 pi F X C. And they are the two formulas. So let's write down what our symbols in this formula mean. So we had um, X C equals F equals and we have C equals. Now notice I haven't written down uh, the number one, the number two and this symbol pi, the number pi. We know pi, that's from your calculator. So XC. <clears throat> XC is uh, capacitive, capacitive reactance and lowercase f is frequency and a capital C is capacitance and let's write down what our SI units are. So the SI unit for capacitive reactants, well that is measured in ohms. Frequency, as always, is Hertz, capital, Z, uh, capital H, lowercase z, and capacitance is measured in a capital F farads. So let's make a little note of that, farads. And there are the formula symbols, uh, the formula side for capacitance. Now let's do a little bit more to our revision notes. So <clears throat> uh, let's write in a um, in a purely purely capacitive circuit. We have. So let's draw um, our, uh, our sine wave. So this one we need to kind of start a bit further over. So maybe do yours a bit neater than mine. Maybe you should uh, maybe think about using a ruler. So let's do our normal sine wave. And that is volts. And now we'll have, um, so let's start with the current. Right, now our current sine wave is out of phase. And so, we say from here to there is 90 degrees. And in a capacitive circuit, we always talk about current first. So in a capacitive circuit, we say current um, 
is leading voltage by 90 degrees. Now let's draw our phasor diagram. So again, we always have current is horizontal. So we always have current. And this time, our voltage is going down. So we draw the square to represent that it's a 90 degree, and it always rotates anti-clockwise. So let's draw our rotational arrow. And lastly, just for our notes, we'll do the circuit symbol. So the circuit symbol for a capacitor is of equal sized uh, thick bold lines and that is the circuit symbol for capacitor. So you set out your revision notes like this for capacitance definitely we've got our our sim uh, our equation um, and that's been transposed both ways what the values and symbols mean and we have this detail here about a purely capacitive circuit current leads voltage by 90 degrees this is a phasor diagram for a purely capacitive circuit and here's the circuit symbol for a capacitor Thank you for watching the video. Remember, we've got plenty of other videos on all of the other tests that you can do, and there are also many videos on cable calculations and all sorts of things that you're gonna to need to know to complete level two and level three in electrical installation. Now, if you want my tabs that I have on my BSM671, visit the website electricalstudent.co.uk where you can purchase those. Also on the website, loads of free stuff, loads of practice tests, mock exam questions and such like. Working with electrical insulation guys, remember, be safe. Most importantly, listen to your lecturers. He or she definitely knows best. Take care guys, see you soon.